Dear brothers and sisters, viewers of CYC, welcome back to another episode of a Healthy Family. Uh, by the grace of God, today we are going to venture into a different developmental phase, as we promised you last time. We'll go into the kindergarten period. This is ages for children, three to five. Uh, I hope you are uh, following us because it is like a building. We have laid the foundation and we finished the first floor and we'll go up to the second, third, fourth floor and so on. It is like a trip, enjoyable trip, but it is a consequential trip. So um, if you have missed the other episode, go back to them um, and um, review them with us. So um, this is um, the kindergarten period, three to six years. And uh, by the grace of God, we are going to talk about the different growth area in this period. So the physical growth in this period, the jumping and the control of the physical movement increases during this period. As we said, the child in the first year, birth to 12 months, is totally passive and gradually he acquires more motoric skills, both in the hands and the legs. He can do some hopping, uh, he cannot do that before. Uh, the sensory growth also in the senses is improving in the five senses. He can taste the food, he can smell the food, he can touch the animal, he can enjoy receiving touch, uh, he can listen to music and um, appreciate the colors visually. So the senses are developing also during this time. I'd like to spend a few minutes with you, if you allow me, to talk about time perception during the kindergarten period, time perception is a little bit strange for children. Um, two specific areas. Um, they need immediate gratification, meaning what they like to get, they like to get now. When do they want the chocolate? Now. When do they want to go to Disneyland? Right now. Uh, thinking that you just get the rest and go. Uh, but that's their way of thinking about the time frame. Also, another issue regarding the time perception for this age group is the confusion about yesterday and tomorrow. In other words, yesterday doesn't mean yesterday. It means for them anything that happened in the past. So uh, they can say, yesterday my uh, auntie came from Egypt and they meant last month. And they can say also, tomorrow we're going on a trip, and they mean in two weeks. So when they say that, they are not lying. The time perception for them is a little bit different than adults. So yesterday meaning for them, anything that happened in the past, and tomorrow anything that will happen in the future. The third point in the time perception is mixing reality with fantasy. This is why when we have a cartoon movie or a Disney movie for children, uh, like Lion King, for example, you have animals that has human character that can fight over land and positions, that has envy, that can have anger and jealousy. And um, the author of the movie uh, projected human character into the animals. For the children, they believe animals can do that. And this is why uh, they can mix reality with fantasy. They wouldn't know this is just a movie for entertainment, but they can live within the story. And some of them, if the movie is sad, they might cry. If an animal dies, they will feel a sense of loss and so on. They cannot differentiate between uh, reality and fantasy. The linguistic growth in this period, uh, if you remember, if you were with us last time, we said the period from 12 months to 24 months is the no period. But here, today, in the kindergarten period, it is the why stage. Now the child has more language and everything why, 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 explain for me, I want to know. The, at the age of three years, the child will have about 800 words 
by the end of the fifth year, the child will acquire a total of about 2,000 words. So the linguistic growth during this period is accelerating, and this is why some of the mothers, uh, they complain, my child can't stop talking. You know, all day long, he or she keeps talking, talking, talking. This is a celebration of the newly acquired language. Uh, the different pronouns, they can differentiate between the singular and the plural. And of course, in the Arabic language, we have the pronoun for two, female or males. The emotional growth will talk about the Oedipus and the Electra complex. We hear about that a lot, but we will simplify it today. So when you hear about it um, in the society or in the media, you will know what they're talking about. This is uh, the derived from the Greek mythology. And um, the Oedipus complex is that the male child would like for his father, the other male in the family, to disappear so that the male child will gain all the love of the mother for himself. Okay? So it doesn't mean the child is evil or the child is uh, defective spiritually or uh, psychologically, but this is just a fantasy that children have. The electoral complex is the opposite. The little girl, the female child, wants her, the, wants her mom to disappear from the picture so that the female child will gain all the love of the dead for herself. What do we do with this? We do sharing. We hear about the kindergarten uh, schools. They have a day of sharing, meaning every child brings his toy and all the children, they share the toys together. The purpose of this is to convey to them. When you share, you end up doing better, meaning if I have one toy and I play with it, I played only with one toy as a child. If I bring my toy with the toys of the other children, I end up playing with many toys and sharing becomes a positive experience. So what do we do with the Oedipal complex? I teach my male child, the mother teaches the male child, that mom can be shared between the child and papa. Although the relationship is different, but she is available for both. And the same thing for the Electra complex. The little girl can learn that dad can be shared by the little child, girl, and mama also. And he's available for both. So the jealousy and the competitiveness will decrease. The last point in today's program regarding the kindergarten period is the word omnipotence. Omnipotence is a specific word. It is one of the divine attributes. God is omnipotent, meaning he can do everything any day he wants. And the children believe that their parents are omnipotent. And although they discover later on <laughs> they are not, but this is one of the characteristics of the godly characteristics that children project to their parents. This is why they get disappointed later on when they discover that dad and mom don't know everything in the whole world, but they adjust to do that. But if the child asks dad or mom to do something impossible, the child is not doing that out of a, a devious character. He is just expressing the developmental phase at the time that dad and mom he believes he can do everything. I hope we enjoyed the program together today about the kindergarten period, and God willing, we'll continue in the next episode of My Healthy Family.